Hey mamas, this is Sanella from Don't Say Hurry and I'm in my girl's room. These are the paintings that they did at Chick-fil-A with my husband actually. He took them to that and they had a really good time. Anyways, but I am doing a collab with Megan from Organized Little Lady. I will have her link down below as well as all the other moms that are participating in this back to school organization collab. So if you guys are new to my channel, my girls already started school. <laughs> they started on August 10th, which is now last Monday. And I know a lot of y'all started this Monday and the rest of y'all start later. I wanted to share with y'all today our school supply box, hidden box, if you really don't do a lot for organizing uh, for back to school. I do a lot of my shopping the year before. Then I do like the sales and the penny items, especially at Office Depot. Uh, this is in sixth grade and the other one's in first. And then I have a three-year-old that I'm homeschooling, sort of. So let me go ahead and show you what we got. So I am going to be showing y'all two areas right now. I was just putting away the girls' clothes, so that's open. But this is our first uh, school supply drawer. It's under their bed. The girls have a bunk bed. And then the other section that I'm briefly going to show y'all is the bookshelf. And the bookshelf just holds their current um, after school extra work, homeschooling stuff. Uh, we have just a quick overview. All of their homeschool uh, books are right there. And there's paper here, markers and pencils, like in this area. And that's just like all of the overflow. So let's get closer so we can... Sh all right, so these are the notebooks that we got at Office Depot for, I, I believe, anywhere from 25 cents to a penny. And usually they have a limit, so we always get the limit. And this binder, it just holds extra paper and folders. The binder I got at Walgreens for half off they were buy one get one free the paper was a penny and then down here i just have another binder and again it's stuffed with paper and extra folders then back here like i said mentioned we have their extra um, homeschooling stuff and i have some printed out cut and paste worksheets and stuff there's a kinder workbook that we will start soon. More kinder or pre-K. And then I have some dry erase sheets with math for our older girls so they can practice. And then this part is pretty much all paper and journals. In here, it holds all of the extra color pencils and pencils and highlighters stuff. This little carrying thingy, it's actually a cloth diaper um a cloth diaper set that my sister gave me so I'm still <laughs> putting that to good use. Uh, this is a little caddy that the girls use when they're going to color or use the markers. This is their marker bag. They are not allowed to use the markers unless I give them permission. Here's some extra pencil boxes and then this holds all of the extra erasers and all of their broken crayons which we are going to upcycle their broken crayons to make new crayons with the molds and stuff. Then over here are extra pencils and down there are just a box of pens, extra pens. Here's the overflow. The lid is lost under there somewhere. We have glue on this side and extra index cards that we've already started to use down there and post-its line almost all of the bottom. I got a really good deal on these post-its. These are just ones we got recently for a penny at Office Depot. Uh, protractors and uh, compasses and red pins, which is one thing that their school asked for this year. And then in the back, there's just rulers. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go over to the bookshelf. Here's just a quick view of their bookshelf. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but Eliada's books that she can read that are her level. She's in first grade again. These are, this is her section. Then we have coloring books here. Yvette's, Yvette's chapter books, she's in sixth grade, are on this side. This side is just a mix of books for all of the girls. And then down here, this other section I wanted to show y'all is all of their workbooks that they are currently working on and I actually just added some new ones this travel one that's pretty cool and kinder and then there are some extra um 
you know, Dollar Tree workbooks and stuff down there. Then they have their reusable bag if we ever are going somewhere. They also have some colors in there. They know to get that bag, put their workbooks in there, and we are good to go. And then this section, just in case y'all wondering, we go through our books almost every year, uh, take out ones that we have already read or used or done with, and we donate them. We need to go donate those. All right, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video. Comment down below if you guys have like a secret back to school supply stash in your kids room or in your room and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm doing vlogging every day in August. My three-year-old is calling me. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks to Megan for putting together this collab. And uh, what, mama? All right. So we'll, we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.